to our lesson learners my names are joseph keep coach chemistry teacher i'm going to take you through topic of nitrogen and its compounds subtopic is other process which is industrial manufacture of ammonia now to understand this process easily is always important for you to know the raw materials and their sources conditions for the process and then parts of the process now first we want to look at the raw materials the raw materials is hydrogen which can be obtained from natural gas or by cracking of longitudinal cans or electrolysis of brine nitrogen can, is obtained from fractional distillation of liquid air now the conditions required for this process is a temperature of 450 to 500 Optimum temperature is 500. Pressure of 200 to 500 atmospheres. Optimum pressure is 200 atmosphere. Catalyst used is finely divided and catalyst. Now, the reason why it is finely divided is so as to increase surface area for the reaction. Now, sometimes the catalyst efficiency can be improved by using aluminum oxide as a promoter. Now, part of the process is purifier compressor, heat exchanger, catalytic chamber, and the part of the process is important now to learn how the reactions occur in the other process. Nitrogen, which is a raw material, and hydrogen are pumped into the purifier. The purifier is used to remove impurities, e.g. dust particles. The reason for removing the impurities is to prevent poisoning of catalyst. Now, after the removal of the impurities, the nitrogen and nitrogen mixture are pumped the compressor. Now, because you have said the pressure required is about 200 to 500, the compressor will reduce the volume of the mixture so as to raise the pressure to about 200 to 500 atmosphere. Now, from the heat exchanger, whereby the mixture of nitrogen and hydrogen are preheated so as to attain suitable reaction temperature. Now, after that, they are pumped into the catalytic chamber, whereby they are further heated to about temperature of 500 and put over heated, finely divided iron catalysts, whereby nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia gas. Now, to balance the equation, we place here two. Now, because we have six hydrogen here, I place here three to balance the equation. Now, the percentage conversion is about only 10% ammonia. So, the gases from the catalytic chamber is ammonia and reacted nitrogen hydrogen, which is pumped back to the heat exchanger for cooling. Now, after ammonia and the nitrogen gas have been cooled, they are pumped the condenser. Then the condenser liquefies ammonia gas. Then the unreacted and hydrogen are recycled back to the compressor. The reason for recycling is to reduce the cost of production and also to minimize wastage. Thank you for the lesson. Welcome. Subscribe. Like and share.